yo what is up guys jd zero and basically i'm just gonna let you guys know what's on my mind this is the title of the videos what's on my mind um so as you guys know i haven't been like really like keeping up to date with uh recording and whatnot or streaming um just trying to do it trying to get into it um finally got a new mic as you guys know this now i got a new mic but um yeah i'm just trying to basically start trying to get more streams out there if i can record more videos um right now i got a couple of wi-fi video wi-fi videos recorded um i'm trying to have co um collabs who could do commentary for set videos um or i might just do a collab i might just commentary in general or i'll just put music behind it and just let it run through um but th yeah just want to get that out of the way um another news or another thing that i want to get off my chest or at least get out of my mind um i don't know if i'm gonna be playing the uh legend rcs game um because from what my standpoint was what i was thinking in the near future whenever the pokemon company was gonna make a open world based game it'll be most likely be like a online type of game maybe an online type of game if it wasn't gonna be an online type of game it would probably be a sub between online and offline game um basically it's good it would have been like a world where you could customize your character really customize your character as an mmo character that you could do have pokemon probably walk around walk behind you um counter pokemon in the wild but still kind of have like that uh turn-based system set up when uh entering a battle um you could battle other npcs or battle other players who are playing the game as well um and then you could also train your pokemon high level if you want to train them high level uh and then maybe have like level caps between gyms if you want to challenge the gyms or not. Uh, you could do coliseums if you want. Uh, or you could challenge the battle frontier as well. Where it's not too, uh, I guess, locked, right? So you'll be able to like go to other regions and then just basically just go you know you could just walk travel surf fly um i want to say maybe the only thing that should be locked i guess that would probably maybe hard lock you if if you want to be like well even though i could walk or travel to these areas i can't really truly fly to these areas because i have to have certain gem badges which I feel like wherever place you start at, maybe you want to battle set gym leaders and get those uh, teams to work or not have that set up where you could just automatically fly. Um, and again, it's one of those things where it's either it's going to force you into doing it or not force you into it. Something like that from the Pokemon company, you know? I was expecting something like that again like when i saw legend of rcs i thought that's what we were gonna probably get but that wasn't what we got it was had to do with the past which i don't think that would be a best place to make an open world game for something like that because it's like oh it's one of those uh side story not a main series game because it, it shouldn't be a main series game but it made it seem like it's a side game, like any other side game that has a story, 
that got you doing other things that's not main series like battle gym leaders or challenging the Pokemon League and then they completing the Pokedex, right? So this is more like, oh, all you have to do is complete the Pokedex. No gems. Which is bad. Which is really bad. And then having not a online server to do battles with other trainers, which also is bad. Uh, like I get it. This is something new. This is a bad way to going about it when making something new. Um, uh, like I said, I was expecting maybe like a new Coliseum setting or maybe an actual MMO where it features Coliseum, uh, places and then it's featured the gym leaders throughout the regions like an actual world building area and then whenever they do updates to add new pokemon to add a new region you know something like that where it keeps the game more interesting at the time where you can still do my main series games and then you update that one game you know to add an extra uh layer to the world right which again like i said it's cool that they have it it's annoying that that's not what we're gonna get because i really wish that was what we were getting but that's not the case it's unfortunate i'm upset i'm not upset but it is what it is um the thing what got me more concerned about was our hearing because I uh, basically follow a lot of PokeTubers on YouTube and I like to hear what their opinions are between the games. If it's good or is it bad, they might like it, they may not like it, they might support the devs who created the game, they might not support the devs creating the game like i'll give them credit what credit is due like the fact that you even thought about now making a game like this but didn't do the right thing when making the game like this like i was like i like the fact that you're gonna do a prequel series to diamond and pearl which is cool but to do it like this instead of doing a turn-based game style it's terrible it's terrible like i said going into this looks terrible it looks fun but it looks terrible at the same time uh which is very upsetting um but back to the poketubers i follow i follow verlicify i don't agree with some of the opinions that Relicify, but again this is my opinion and he has his own opinion um and then one thing that gets me kind of like okay he doesn't want to support the de the devs of the game that's fine he doesn't like some of the pokemon that's fine he he knows that this game is going to be bad because it's not like link it's not like uh it's not like what was the other game that i'm thinking of um it's not monster hunter because monster hunter is not really an open base world of the game um it's not like get guy what's it called giga impact or something gaijin impact um it's not like xenobrake chronicles is xeno is it xenobrake chronicles i don't know xenoblade chronicles um it's not like that game where it's open world and you talk to npcs and then you could just be in the opening and then fight monsters or whatever it's not like that one trying to like like so it's it's like that's what they made but again it's in the past which again hinders the what we're trying to go for in a MMO game, like I don't want it past 
game that's pre that precursor to a diamond pearl series or is a precursor to the pokemon world in general because i'm like i want a game that's probably current maybe even a little bit futuristic and probably have to do with the the main world aesthetic of being like okay here we are here's present day you get create your character and you can battle gems and then you can battle coliseums you could probably battle the uh like they could add like something from the anime into this game that would have been great they can make an actual five star game which i don't think they're gonna ever do or if they do do it it's gonna be like later but again like i said it should if if they were gonna go with this type of style of a game they should have did it like such such as that but again like i said i don't like the i don't like the way they encounter pokemon in legend of arceus i wish it was more like a turn-based encounter which makes it a whole much much easier to deal with like sword and shield but again it just upsets me that the game is like this and it upsets me that people are gonna complain and then say things that shouldn't be said because it's like okay do you make games you played them but do you make games do you know coding I, I I understand you sound like you know your shit, but you don't. And maybe you should shut the fuck up. But hey, it's your opinion. At the end of the day, it's your opinion. I'm not going to shit on you. It is your opinion. It's just like... I'm trying to, trying to understand. Trying to comprehend what's going on. And it's like, I'm not trying to support you like i understand what you're going with i understand your opinion and i don't I disagree with your opinion I, and i don't and and i do agree you know i do disagree with your opinion because it's like you have good arguments and then you have bad arguments and then everyone has good arguments and everyone has bad arguments and then again, beside that, whatever happens to Legend Arceus at the end of the day, if I play it, I play it. If I bought it, I bought it. If someone hands me a free game like a gift for my birthday, I'll play it and see where it goes. But if I don't like the game, I don't like the game. It is what it is. I don't like the game. Um, other than that, on to Verisify, Felicify, how everyone to pronounce the man's name. Again, like I said, I agree and disagree with his opinions. And I don't think I will need anyone's hate about that. It's like, again, you also have your opinion about the people that you follow and agree with and disagree with. With hearing his fan base and hearing him himself and seeing some of the interviews that he's been in and dealt with and try to make people aware of the whole problem with gaming in general because he didn't make it seem like it's gaming in general or life in general it's just like oh pokemon 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 they're cheating in pokemon people need to stop cheating in pokemon it's a game that's meant for everyone right but as to we need a actual competitive game right we need a competitive game that allows us to have preset mods already made for ours for our enjoyment to be able to use in a online service between tournaments and 
dealing with other trainers that are playing against online and then actually be casual about story wise battling the gym leaders and whatnot or battling coliseums and whatnot you know anything that's story progressive should just be that right and then when it comes to a stadium format or a coliseum format as you will battle frontier and any like online tournament stuff we should just have a team built set state like some type of server that allows us to do that right which everyone's actually fair at that point to be able to do that without having to gin endless of time to make this perfect team to face off another person who can't do that because they don't have time to do it right because they usually play the game casually but they want to do competitive but it takes them time to do it and they have other things to do like they have a job they have uh, a life outside of just gaming in general because they're not probably kids you know and if there are kids and they have school and they have to balance out school and gaming there you go you have to have to deal with the fact that everyone has to have a balance between gaming uh now from for from what i get from relicify is basically since he's a youtuber and he does play games on youtube he makes video content on video games on youtube sometimes it's not always video games on youtube so he might actually have a job outside of youtube which he does so he's not constantly playing the games 24 7 he shouldn't know that he shouldn't be acting this way with other non-content creators who don't always spend their time on video games is what I'm trying to get at but you know again it is what it is at the end of the day it just is what it is I think I hear fireworks outside, but <laughs> besides the point, if you hear the, uh, the fireworks, my, it's, it's, it just, it's, it's pretty much across the street. But like I said, if, if anything, like, like I said, my, for this, for Velisify, I'm just like all everywhere, but like for Velisify to be acting the way he acts again with other people, especially the way he say things about parents and whatnot, it's no need for that. Uh, he should just ignore the haters, which that's when I end up started doing. I kind of just ignore the haters who want to be the way they are. But again, like I said, he does. Everyone has an opinion to claim to, and it may be right. It may not be right. Like I said, I like and disagree with his opinions and some of the stuff that has been proving under con like things that he replied to in com in his comment section is really triggering because it's like you shouldn't be saying that you are technically a person who is supposed to be a um what's the word a, um, I know it's a public figure. You're supposed to be a public figure to your audience, right? Um, even though you don't technically are meant to be, you're supposed to just show people what's right, right? Public figures are meant to, you're supposed to lead by example. And the fact that you're not leading by that example will piss off people, right? And that's probably my problem with Verlicify is the fact that he leads by a certain example, which would piss off a lot of people. And if he can't fix that issue, then everyone's going to keep doing what they're doing and then keep shitting on him. And 
it's just going to be a whole lot of other mess. But anyway, I don't want to drag this too long. So like I said, I'm going to try to get back into making content get for you guys, uh, probably stream if possible, but I'll, I'll let you guys know when that ever happens. If you see a video pop up, there'll be a video pop up. If there's a stream, there'll be a stream, but I'll let you guys go. See you guys in the next video. Bye.